alaikum and welcome to Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titley Nihan. I bought these from a well-known discount brand supermarket chain and I thought, I like these. I wonder if I can make my own version. Ingredients, diphosphates, cranberry powder, hydrogenated bison fat, soya substitute, milk powder. So to make these cookies, I've got 125 grams of butter cut into little pieces, 125 grams of sugar, I'm using a mixture of brown sugars, 125 grams of rolled oats, 100 grams of plain flour, 100 grams of dried cranberries, 75 grams of white chocolate chips, an egg, one teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. The first thing I'll do is turn my rolled oats into an oat flour by whizzing them in my food processor. Ooh, that's well whizzed. Now cream together the butter and the sugar. When it's all nicely creamed, stupid second frozen, add in the egg. Pick out any bits of shell and beat. When it's nicely mixed, add in the salt, baking powder and vanilla flavouring and beat that in too. it's all nicely mixed, sieve in the flour just to get rid of any lumps and weevils. Then add in your whizzed oats, the cranberries and the chocolate chips and mix well with a spoon. Keep mixing it until it becomes really thick and make sure all the dry ingredients are incorporated. Lovely. I'll now use my quarter cup measure to measure out the cookies. And pop the dough onto a lightly greased baking tray. Then just press the dough down until it's about half an inch or just over a centimetre thick. Now I'll bake these at 180 fan oven, 200 normal oven for about 12 minutes. <laughs> Now I'll leave them for 10 minutes before I try and get them off the tray. I like these. And I like these. Here Fido, come on boy, go and get your biscuits. Tiddly, like brands you've never heard of, only better. <laughs>